live food is uh, 100%, everybody's on 100% live food for those three weeks. Then we have a whole lifestyle. I'm just going to kind of go through this. Optimal health and, you know, uh, good exercise and uh, spiritual and creative expression, laughter, spiritual prog programs, meditation, pranayama, sleep. Sleep's very important, okay? And people who do not get enough sleep, like six hours or less is not enough sleep, have 40 times more endocrine imbalance. And that takes us into diabetes. And 4.57 times more blood sugar imbalances if you are, are not getting enough sleep. So it's, it's actually a big deal. Nutrients. And then, that sounds funny, but a lot of people with diabetes, about 60% of people with diabetes are a third to 60% actually have gum infections and then that can seed heart problems. And washing yourself, using your mind, keeping your mind active, make sure you're going to the bathroom appropriate times, <laughs> love, live foods. And it may seem inconvenient, although for this group it's kind of fun, right? Um, but it's well worth it. And here's the cure. Now I'm gonna, this is the phase one diet, and I'm gonna sum it up for you, okay? because it's all in the, in the book in that way. Basically, phase one does not, I'm going to start with does not part. Doesn't have any fruits. Doesn't have any grains. It doesn't have any legumes. It doesn't have any cooked food. It's 100% live food, primar primarily green vegetables, nuts and seeds, and, and sea vegetables, and superfoods. That's basically it. That superfoods do not, does not include bee pollen, and uh, goji berries. Okay, so that's phase one. Your oils are fine, your fats are fine, everything's good. Now, phase 1.5, which is where you go to after you've been uh, diabetes-free for three months, will include uh, legumes, some grains, and a little bit of low glycemic fruit, and, nut, and that's berries, and cherries, and some of the citrus. So, and, and, and also bee pollen. So those are your two diets. Now, truly, a healthy diet, okay, let's talk about what we're talking about. Most people, um, whether they have diabetes or not, are gonna be somewhere between one and 1.5, because that's the optimum diet for health. So it's not really that big a deal once you get into it. And this is what we're looking at. Now here's the basic points. We're coming to the conclusion here. So, we will minimize all carbohydrates except your leafy greens, your vegetables, um, and your sprouts. That's actually key. And that's 25 to 45 percent carbohydrate. That's the carbohydrate we're talking about. For the diabetes, it's 25 to 35 percent carbohydrate. Um, Basically, this is the optimum diet for everybody, 25 to 45% uh, raw plant fat, 25 to 45% carbohydrate raw, and 10 to 20%, depending on your constitution, protein. That's the overall macro, uh, the macro diet. Okay, uh, to me, the power of live food is very, very important in the healing, and that's a whole lecture in itself but also live food not only decreases peri-inflammation significantly, but it also decreases um, the, the, the whole obesity uh, issue. Uh, so we go into the weight loss. It naturally drops your LDLs and um, HDLs, but that's not so much a worry. Basically, it's all vegan, plant source raw. That's what works. Um, all organic, so you don't have the effect of pesticides and herbicides. Uh, moderate exercise, adequate sleep, seven to eight hours, um, the use of healing effects of meditation. We have to individualize our diet to optimize that, and people learn that in the conscious eating course. And basically, it brings everything to normal, is what we're talking about. And, and finally, the most important thing, as I mentioned earlier, Loving yourself enough to want to heal yourself. 
This is not a diet for everyone. This is a diet who love, uh, for people who love themselves enough to want to heal themselves and want the total healing. Rather like, oh, Doc, can you lower my blood sugar? I mean, it doesn't work anyway, but this is for people who really, really want to change their lives and move from the culture of death to the culture of life. Now, here's some of the results. People come in around 400, and the middle line is where they are in the program, the blood sugar drops. This is a type 1 diabetic. He was up and around, you know, 300. Took him off insulin, and there he is, into normal. Uh, this is a person who was just um, actually uh, was on some insulin, but again, up and down, up and down, and then boom, you see they go to normal. This is uh, a person who's 67 years old. This is not a problem. The blood sugar drops to normal just by eating and living this way. Uh, fasting blood sugars came in, I mentioned an average of 247. After three to four weeks, we're looking at 86. That's pretty, uh, pretty powerful. Uh, LDL, uh, the, the cholesterol's dropped significantly. LDL's dropped to 82, which is really normal, really good. Um, people come in inflamed. The average in this group was 15, it was really, really high. Um, after three to four weeks, we're down to five. Okay, that's a 300% decrease, and it keeps going down. The optimum range is one, but that's really good. And this is a comparison of uh, the different diets. And basically, I'm showing that on this diet, 25 to 45% raw plant fat, you actually lower your triglycerides better than the other two 10% diets. We're down to 69. But also, uh, we lower the cholesterol better than one diet that was 10% fat. Ours, the cholesterol was 159, that was 173. So it works because really, cholesterol has to do with your health and how well your liver functions. And this is a comparison, uh, kind of, as we kind of wrap this up, this is a comparison. There was a, a very nice study by Dr. Bernard, 70% carbohydrate, they dropped the use of medication by 46%. Ours dropped the use of medication by 97% in just three weeks versus 22 weeks, okay? Plus, we had a high percentage of healing, 61% healing of the non-insulin uh, dependent diabetes and 24% of insulin dependent and then 21% of type 1. So there are dramatic differences and of the type 2 insulin dependent, 86% roughly came off all their insulin and all the medications. So there's a dramatic difference when we apply all the principles and do a moderately low carbohydrate, moderate fat, and moderate protein diet. So the bottom line is society is always taken by surprise by any new example of common sense. This is really the common sense thing and we end with the idea that in each generation we're given the medicine for healing that generation. Okay. And live food veganism is the medicine for healing this generation and I'm going to say future generations and also the planet. So the holistic life of veganism is the medicine for healing us and the whole living planet. Thank you.